In an amazing discovery, scientists recently found out that something weird is happening on Mars. And to their surprise, they discovered what lies in the center of the red planet. It turns out Mars isn't as empty as we once thought. Before becoming a dusty and barren planet, Mars had a completely different past. There is a lot of evidence showing that Mars used to be warm, with lakes of liquid water, and suitable for life for a short time. Scientists were always curious about why this change happened. To understand it, they needed to know what lies at the core of Mars. The InSight lander was sent to study the planet's interior, and it found out that Mars is still active with shaking and vibrations. After a dedicated mission of five years, the InSight lander has given scientists a clear picture of Mars' core. So how is Mars' core different from Earth's? How did InSight reveal the secrets of the red planet's core? Let's find out. But the most important question is, what does this discovery mean for the future of our planet? To understand InSight's mission on Mars, we first need to know how scientists solved the mystery of Earth's core more than a hundred years ago. It all comes down to waves. To understand the inside of Earth, scientists usually study seismic waves, which are waves that travel through the Earth's interior. These waves can come from natural events, like earthquakes, or from man-made sources like controlled explosions. By studying how these waves behave as they pass through different materials, scientists can learn about the properties of those materials, similar to how light waves interact with objects. Depending on the composition of the object and the wavelength of light, it can be transmitted, reflected, absorbed, refracted, polarized, diffracted, or scattered. Seismic waves also change their behavior depending on the materials they encounter. There are two main types of seismic waves, P waves and S waves. P waves, or primary waves, cause rocks to vibrate in the same direction as the wave travels. They are the fastest seismic waves and are the first to arrive after an earthquake. S waves, on the other hand, are called secondary waves, causing rocks to vibrate perpendicular to the direction of the wave. In 1906, scientists discovered that seismic waves travel slower through Earth's core compared to other parts of the planet. This gave them important insights about the composition of Earth's core. Now, by using similar methods, scientists have unveiled the core of Mars with the help of insight. Understanding Mars' core can give us valuable information about the future of our own planet. Scientists found out that S waves couldn't go through the core, while P waves traveled through but changed direction at the core's edge. From these observations, they figured out that the outer core is like a liquid, while the layer above it called the mantle is solid. Later on, in 1936, researchers noticed that seismic waves bounced off the inner core suggesting a change from a liquid to a solid state. These groundbreaking findings, which came from careful studies of earthquakes, helped us understand the complex layers of our planet's core. Now let's fast forward almost a century and explore the hidden depths of Mars. Scientists used similar techniques to study Mars using seismic tools, and the results were astounding. They sent a mission called Mars Lander Insight in 2018 to investigate the crust, mantle, and core of Mars. One important part of this mission was a seismometer placed on the surface of Mars to measure seismic activity and create detailed 3D models of the planet's interior. During its active period of four years, InSight detected hundreds of Marsquakes. But it was in 2021 that things got really interesting. In that year, InSight recorded two major events on the opposite side of Mars. One was a huge Marsquake, bigger and more powerful than any previously detected, and the other was the impact of a meteorite that shook the planet. These events, happening far away from InSight, provided a unique opportunity for analysis. Now, scientists could study waves that not only traveled around Mars, but also through its core, giving them an unprecedented look at seismic waves inside the planet. They compared the travel times of these waves through the core with those through the mantle, combining the data with other measurements to estimate the density and compressibility of the materials the waves pass through. The results were unexpected. Mars's core turned out to be like a squishy liquid throughout, unlike Earth's core, which likely has a liquid outer core and a solid inner core, possibly with an even denser core at the center. Moreover, Mars's core contains a significant amount of lighter elements scattered within it. On average, these elements contribute about one-fifth of the planet's weight, with sulfur being the most common, 
followed by smaller amounts of oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen. This surprising composition highlights the uniqueness of Mars's geological structure. These findings suggest that Mars' core is less dense and more compressible than Earth's. On Earth, the magnetic field is sustained by activity inside the core called geodynamo. In simple terms, heat travels from the center of the Earth to its outer layers, creating currents in the liquid inside. These currents can twist and form patterns because the Earth is spinning, which generates a magnetic field. This magnetic field interacts with the liquid motion and creates a secondary magnetic field, known as the dynamo effect. This is how the Earth maintains its magnetic field. Scientists have studied the magnetism of Mars before and found that lighter elements in its core might have caused the loss of its dynamo and magnetic field. Now, with a better understanding of Mars' core composition, we can reconstruct its history more accurately. The core of a planet holds important information about how it formed and evolved. Earth's unique core composition allows it to generate a magnetic field that protects us from solar winds, preserving our planet's water and supporting life. On the other hand, Mars' core doesn't create this protective shield, making it inhospitable to life as we know it. Studying these differences not only helps us find other potentially habitable planets, but also deepens our knowledge of how planets can form and change over time, even if they have similar materials and orbit the same star. The InSight mission, which explored Mars for four years and concluded in December 2022, collected valuable data that will continue to shape our understanding of planetary formation and evolution for many years. It highlights the lasting importance of scientific exploration and discovery. Recently, astronomers discovered a star that devoured its own orbiting planet. If you missed that exciting episode, make sure to click here and watch that video.